Well, we finally have some news coming from SOTOR. Dan Steele, the new community, community coordinator, has come out to say hello to everyone and some other forum news that I'm going to share with you right here. Let's get to it. Shake my beard, shake my beard. Hello my friends, Boomy here once again with another video for you, my SOTOR brothers and sisters. How's everyone doing out there in SOTOR land? If this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for all your SOTOR news and updates, and I load wit videos, I can't speak either, quite frequently. My friends, we have some news on the forum, SOTOR forum news, dong, dong, dong. It's not as bad as you think. Oh, no, no, we're not going to delve into the toxic heap that is the forums at times. No, we have some news from the devs, from Eric Muskell and from Dan Steele, the new communi community coordinator, for which I did a video about a while ago uh, when he first came out of the of Bioware. And Primo going, hey, guys, I work here now. But now he introduced himself onto the forums for everyone to see and uh, to deal with. He, he's a good guy. I we, we work with him uh, as influencers, and he's got a lot of great ideas that I'm excited about, and uh, he has talked about some of them on the forums. So there's some news there. We're going to talk about gearing as well. Also, there's a hair bug that, for some reason, black hair turns green. Something like that. We'll talk about that. Tokens being uh, PvP, whatever, ranked tokens going legacy-wide. Will that happen? We'll also talk about that there. And other stuff as well so let's get into it my friends let's take a look so here we go this is dan Steele's introduction hello internet it is i dan Steele. this is how it goes hello everyone as musco alluded to in a post last week i joined the team a few months ago and serve as a new community coordinator some of you may not may now be wondering if i've been here for a few months then why am i just making myself known well Let's go over everything that I work on. Primarily, I handle everything involved with the articles that we create. This covers the whole process from start to finish. On top of this, I handle all the social posts across Twitter, Facebook, people still use Facebook, and Instagram, as well as the game launcher itself. Over the past few months, these, ha these were handed to me piece by piece as Musco trained me accordingly. Once I had all these tasks under my belt, it was our plan to start transitioning me from solely working behind the scenes to having a presence here on the general forums. So here we are. Ta-da! I've been reading the general feedback here, especially within the past week, and it has been received. There's a lot that I can that can be improved upon, and I'm working on fixing some of these issues. Going forward, whenever there's a new article or news update, I will also create a thread in the relevant forum to spread the word of whatever the subject is. Let's pause right here. That is a great idea. He's talking about bringing communication back to SOTOR. And when I say back, SOTOR has always had a bad, has had just a really horrible um, thing with communication. It just has. I mean, sometimes to do really good and then it sucks. So it looks like, and from everything I know as well, you know, they're really trying to get on the ball with this one and dan is here to help spearhead that and get that going i think that is great um as well as prompt the discussion about it he continues for example later this week we'll be announcing the specific details involving our community cantina yes which i will be there my friends event happening around star wars celebration in chicago at the same time as i publish the article to the site i will then create a thread highlighting it Throughout March, we will announce what will be involved with Game Update 5.10.2. Between game features and technical updates, I've also been working with Charles on something we'd like to bring back, which are short stories. I agree, those do need to come back. Now, since a lot goes into the making of these, it's hard to pinpoint when the first one will be published. But, but it's a safe bet to say it will be sometime this spring. Another strong sentiment that I've noted here is the lack of a roadmap. Oh, uh, yeah, totes. Unfortunately, while that falls outside of my scope, in the spring slash summer, I would like to build a web content roadmap. This will list all the planned out articles, including update announcements. These, get out of my scene, sir. These wouldn't have a hard date, but they would 
all be narrowed down to approximate months. For example, the game update 5.10.2 news would be listed as coming into the first half of March in a model like this. I've been working a lot behind the scenes to lay down the groundwork for the upcoming year, and the fruits of that will start to bear in the coming months. Hopefully this post has been able to shed some light on the path we're taking with 2019. Now this is all good. This is a great thing to hear and he got a lot of positive feedback on the forums with this post and that was nice and great to see and good to hear and it's nice to see that we have a laid out uh, idea, general idea of what he wants to do and bring to the community and to SOTOR itself and there's nothing here that I can scoff at at all. These are all good points and are well needed for this game to get it on a more healthier path. Now, let's talk a little bit about that hair situation we got going on with the cartel market issue and why it might be extremely hard to change it. This is from Eric Musco. He writes, cartel market hair not showing as black is a fairly complex bug. I want to lift a hood, <laughs> get it, hood, <laughs> and talk about some process stuff internally that has led us to where we are right now. We have a pretty strict rule that we do not make changes to cartel market items once they are live. This doesn't apply for seriously broken items such as items that are not functioning or are breaking characters. For example, the reason for this rule is simple. Players have spent real money for something and changing it after purchasing it means we have to adjust something that they spent money on. We have broken this rule before, but it is rare. The hair color on these hairstyles have been bugged for a long time. I honestly have never run into this, so I don't know. It's the first time I've seen it. Uh, he continues, since they were released, we, we very recently did another full deep dive investigation into what exactly was causing this bug to see if we could fix it and the overall impact it would have if we adjusted it. Since this is a high visibility issue that is frustrating for players who are seeing it, this is one of those rare cases where we would have considered changing a live cartel market item. What our investigation led to is that the way colors are applying to the CM hairstyles isn't correct. The only place this is noticeable is for the black, but in truth, it is across the entire spectrum. The downside of this is that if we were to fix the bug that is causing this, it would actually change how every single color looks on CM hairstyles, not just black. That would have a pretty substantial impact on a lot of players and their chosen hair. With that in mind, he continues, we are in a holding pattern on this issue as we are unable to fix it without a broad game impact we are unwilling to make at this time, which I think is fair. I think this is fair uh, whether they don't, you know, there's some issues with this hair dye thing, but at the same time, they don't want to compound that like a thousand fold with just screwing up everything. Then you're just going to get a lot of rage because of that. And so I think it's good for them just to hold off and figure out how they're going to do this without breaking the entire thing. He continues, if you find any way to adjust this in the future, we will, and that investigation is ongoing. One thing that did arise from this is that we realized that we were incorrect, that there were, excuse me, incorrect steps happening on hairstyles which were causing this bug. Future hairstyles will not have this problem. And he um, closes with, I know this may not be the greatest news for those of you with this bug, but I wanted to make sure you have all the information around what is causing the issue and why we aren't implementing a fix at this time. Again, it is great to have communication coming out from Bioware and it's just nice to know that they they are listening and now that dan's uh also helping eric out it frees eric up to do other things as well and i think we're going to see a lot more communication from eric because of that where it's not all on eric's lap and now he has some room to breathe and get focused on some other things as well that i think is just is it's just great so Let's talk about some updates coming. Uh, yeah, Dan also has some uh, updates about community news uh, here. And let's just take a look at what he has to say. Drendal asks, hey there, Dan, do you plan on updating the community news section of the website? It seems it has not been updated in quite some time. The last section on there is the roadmap from 2017. I will agree with that. When I go back and look at some of the news there, see, if I look for something for the channel, I'm like, holy man, Who's, who's in charge of updating this? Because they suck. Uh, he, he responds, very good question. Yes, this is on my list of things to work on. The catch with this situation is we obviously don't want the community news section to just mimic what we post in the news feed. 
in the news feed because that would just be pointless. One of the questions I have been asking myself is, aside from Cantina announcements, what other community-based content can we create for here? I have no timeline at all for when there can be a notable change to this, but it is something I am striving towards. Yay. Once again, they are thinking about this. This is this is this is good. They're on the map and they're telling us, hey, we're thinking about this. We share your concerns here. And they have a guy now in place to where he's going to focus on stuff like this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's talk about gearing, shall we? Um, this 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 is uh kind of big. And uh yeah, let's just let's just take a look, shall we? Eric comes out and says, Hey folks, let's talk about gearing as I do have a few things I can pass on. So first and foremost, important, absolutely keep all feedback coming about gearing in every context. What you do and don't like, what we have done right and what we haven't. And I'm sure they're going to get a lot of that because it's the internet. Quite literally, the team is having conversations right now about how we will build our gearing in large future update <coughs> expansion. I do want to state, though, that there are no large systematic plans change for um, eye level 252, 258. This doesn't mean we may not make minor tweaks, but there are no plans to overhaul how gearing works in tier five. The reason is the team really wants to focus efforts on the future to ensure that when we get to revamping itemization, it is the best it can be. To that point, he says, look for me to start spinning up conversations in the coming weeks regarding gearing. I want to try to gather feedback on specific topics as drilled down as I can to ensure the dev team is getting a good summary of feedback. We are in the early stages of planning for the future of itemization, and so now is the best time to help shape what we do. Thanks all, Eric. So there he is. We have a potential giant gearing changes coming up, itemizations in that as well, and they want our feedback. So put your comments in the comment section below and I will shoot your feedback out and what you have to say about gearing um, to the devs in my monthly report uh, when, uh, when it comes to being a Bioware influencer because we have to give monthly reports, it's what we do. So I will make sure that your, your comments and feedback get out there as well. Now let's talk about uh, you know, uh, uh, ranked currency and whether or not it could be legacy wide. Cause there are some people who are like kind of upset going like, why can't it just be legacy wide? Why does it have to be stuck to one tune? Eric responds to this and let's just see what he has to say. Rojan asks, are there any reasons behind ranked tokens not being legacy wide? The high prices of the replica items really limits and forces us to play the same character for a massive amount of time to achieve enough tokens to purchase. Many of us enjoy playing many characters in ranked, and Eric replies to this. He said, I double checked with the team, and this is something they would be on board with trying to do in the future. The trick is that making currencies be legacy wide is not easy and requires quite a substantial amount of work behind the scenes. We are working on making legacy currencies a bit cleaner on our side, and when we get to that point, ranked tokens would be top of the list to convert. He says nothing is scheduled or planned for right now, but know that the team shares your interest in moving the currency that way. So there you have it, folks. You have your uh, your legacy stuff, which I think is a smart thing to do, and I'm not sure why they just didn't do it. Uh, we're able to do currency-wide stuff with uh, our regular money uh, in-game, and well, you know, I, I don't know. I'm not at all tiered or tank, top tanked. Top, I'm tanked, man. Top ranked in PvP, so I don't know how all that token stuff works. Whether you can mail it to yourself or not, it looks like you can't. I don't understand why that's not a thing. But I don't understand why that just isn't legacy either. It, that's just one of those things where you're like, they probably should have thought about that when they're, you know, playing with the legacy junk uh, when it comes to currency. But either way, they also share that interest, and we will see what comes down the road with this as well. So, yes, again... Uh, communication is happening and that is always a good thing this is a long video i understand but i just need to get this out to you guys and let you know what's going on in the forums so you don't have to go there yeah yeah i just got out of my javelin suit i had to get in my javelin to just go to the forums itself it was quite scary Whoa. and it was my friends put your comments in the comment section below let me know your thoughts on all this news on here as well also hit that like button if you really like what you see here and if you truly truly like oh my gosh this guy's amazing he's weird but I can dig it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Become part of the family here on YouTube. Uh, the freak show of YouTube. I did that wrong. The black sheep. Meh, of gaming. 
And as always, my friends, man, if you want to support me on a more personal level, make sure you take a look at the Patreon there as well. And my friends, remember to be kind. It's about community. And we'll see you later. Good day.